Welcome everyone, good morning. My name is Andrea Vona. I'm with the Palos Verdes Peninsula Land Conservancy. Um, as we celebrate our 25th anniversary year, we're so pleased to welcome you here today to Chandler Nature Preserve. So this space has been um, mindfully restored over the years to both, co to both coastal sage scrub habitat as well as riparian habitat in the creeks down below. Um, and one of the focus areas of the Conservancy is working in collaboration on the recovery of the Palos Verdes blue butterfly. And so the area that we'll walk to shortly to have the release conducted is a restored area with a focus on the food plants. The butterfly was thought extinct for 11 years and that's what you're releasing, something that was thought to be gone. Not gone because of nature, gone because of us. And we do uh, raise the butterflies and now you will see wonderful students from Moore Park College who have put in zumpteen zillion, it's a technical term, you can use it yourselves, um, hours working on this butterfly and now we have thousands per year and we release to the wild every single year. We would have nowhere to release without PVPLC and grants like the grant from Toyota. They would simply die in the cages at the zoo and that is not what we want. A restoration project is not about having a captive audience, a captive population. It's about producing in captivity and then releasing and restoring a jewel to the wild. With the support of Audubon and Toyota, I have had the privilege to work with local high school students to restore about an acre of habitat for the Palos Verdes Blue Butterfly. They have been an amazing group of students. Um, we've collaborated together uh, to adopt a plot, which means we've removed all the invasive plants uh, on that plot, including mustard and fennel and wild radish, um, cleaning the slate um, to grow about 400 native plants that the butterflies use to eat and lay their eggs on, and that they've planted those plants um, in the winter time and now today we get to release those butterflies onto this restored habitat. It's been quite a unique experience releasing butterflies whereas usually we've been just planting plants and just weeding planting and we've never got to see really the fruits of our work. It's especially important and relevant to me because I, f I feel that the environment around me if I can directly change it and help restore what I live in it, it makes it more personally impactful but I just think it's great overall to help restore this habitat that should belong here that we've displaced with what we've done I guess. Autobahn yes is participating with the Palos Verdes Land Conservancy um, through uh, providing volunteers and youth to to connect with the restoration project. Uh, I feel it's very important because part of restoration is connecting with the land as well. We're not only restoring it to a, a state where it is beneficial for wildlife, but also restoring the connection with youth and the environment. For the past year, I've been um, restoring this habitat for the Palos Verdes Peninsula butterfly. Um, we've been introducing the native um, plants back into the environment so that the butterflies can have a place that they can live and where they can um, propagate the land for another generation of butterflies. It's so fulfilling now that I come back to the plot um, after all the hard work that our club has put in and to actually see the butterflies um, using the plants. It's really fulfilling and um, just being out Ooh, in the outdoors every, every weekend has really impacted the way um, I view my future to be. Um, I definitely want to continue to volunteer throughout my life and to pursue things that will help the environment in the future. It's been a really rewarding experience working with these students. And together with the Palos Verdes Peninsula Land Conservancy, we've done an amazing job in providing an opportunity for the butterfly to persist in the wild. Um, I find my career and my job really rewarding. Every day I get to wake up and uh, this is my office. I come outdoors um, to be in our urban wildlands here in LA County. It's pretty rare to find so much open space in such an urban uh, environment, but there's little pockets of wilderness um, that are worth preserving and worth restoring. And that's what we've done here today with this Together Green Fellowship. 